curiosity is very important, um, as is um, tenacity and the, and the drive to want to, um, to get to the bottom of something. I started out doing court-appointed cases for indigent criminal defendants in Washington, D.C. back in 1999. Mm -hmm. um, back at that time, they were um, they, they didn't make a lot of money. It was 10 bucks an hour. Um, you had to hustle cases in the courtroom cafeteria from the defense lawyers, and you'd get cases, and you'd work on the cases, and you, at the end, you would submit a bill, and you'd make you know 50 or 60 bucks per case. When I was in school, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and so I got a, I got a degree in anthropology. I liked writing a lot. I wanted to write the next great American novel. Um, so after I graduated from school, I did some traveling. I went to Morocco for a little while. I wrote a very bad novel. And um, when I came back, a friend of mine had um, uh, gone on a, on a blind date with this guy who owned a private investigative company that specialized in the court appointed cases I just mentioned. Ultimately, she decided she didn't like the work, so um, she asked me if I was interested in taking over the cases that she had, that she had worked. And immediately I was like, this is great. It's kind of like writing. You know, you're meeting people, you're writing reports about them, about, and you're accruing a lot of life experience that I, you know, I like to apply to writing fiction at some point. Sometimes you have fixed surveillance. Um, you might be sitting in this car, watching through the window, or have someone planted inside this restaurant right here. Yeah. And then there's what? Mobile surveillance? Mobile surveillance, where you're following somebody. It, which is more complicated? Mobile surveillance far, is far more complicated. Just more people involved, logistics? Yeah, you lose people to lights, you know. You, um, people drive fast. People suspect they see the same car behind them for some time and they start to suspect that they're being followed and so that's mm. a problem. <laughs> you know, you see something like Scandal and think someone has that little microphone with the little satellite dish on it, you know, recording someone. Are people a little more on edge here? Yeah, downtown for sure. I mean, there's a whole bunch of government agencies that have um, security concerns, and you have the White House, you have the Secret Service. We've had, um, I mean, I personally have been doing surveillance downtown and have had Secret Service agents ask me what I'm doing. Really? Yep, absolutely. Does your heart skip a beat, or do you think, I'm allowed to do this? I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> Usually they say, okay, <laughs> as long as you're not illegally parked or something. <laughs> I know you don't do a lot of undercover work on the street, but I'm wondering, if a private investigator were out here and wanted to watch, let's say, a business conversation going on inside this building, what would they be looking for? How would they plot it all out? If we were trying to uh, focus on a, on a business conversation that was taking place in a restaurant or whatever, um, that's fixed. So we're not concerned about how the, how the parties come and go. We're only concerned about watching them in that location. Uh -huh. So it's really all about um, getting, you know, in a restaurant, you can go into the restaurant. You could you could um, use a, uh, a pinhole camera, or, you know, that that will record it close up. If someone like my dad and all the other aspiring investigators who have watched this on TV so many times and all these dramas want to get into this field, how do they even start? One path would be to work in a, in a, in a government um, agency for some time as an investigator or as a law enforcement officer, and to do that for a few years, and then to make the switch to the private sector. Another way to do it would be to look for a company that's already licensed and to apply for a job. If you have the skills to be a good communicator and to write well, and to and you're at not you know you have a good sense of ethics, it gives you the potential to be a good investigator.